Dear students, welcome to our class on GRF SRF NET 2022, Part C, Specialized Subject, Aggregate Metrology. In the 14th lecture, we tried to understand the aggregate metrology with reference to certain crops. So, in this class, we try to understand the weather requirements of uh, uh, animals, poultry. Okay, so some bits are uh, most uh, common in uh, GRF SRF. That's why uh, in this class we confine ourselves to uh, the weather requirements of certain animals and poultry. Now, the first question is cattle belongs to dash animals. Cattle belongs to dash animals. Warm blooded animals. Cattle has a physiological system called dash. Cattle has a physiological system called dash. A thermoregulation. In cattle, the amount of water evaporates from the surface of the body is known as perspiration. Perspiration. Respiration in case of breathing. We talk. Perspiration is the water loss from the body of the cattle. Perspiration. P E R S P I R A T I O N. Uh, in cattle, the ambient temperature is uh, higher than the ideal body temperature if that is the condition. Ambient temperature is higher than the body temperature <coughs> along with high atmospheric humidity. Under those circumstances, what will happen? Ambient temperature is higher than the body temperature and more humidity. Under those situations, cooling mechanism fails. Animals cooling mechanism fails. Under what condition? Ambient temperature is more than body temperature and high humidity. Now, so humidity, I, I, I have covered several times, uh, evaporation is inversely proportional to humidity. More the humidity, lesser the evaporation. Like that uh, from the body of the animals uh, under high humid conditions, uh, okay, the, the water loss uh, is inhibited. So it uh, uh, affects very badly the cooling system, cooling mechanism of the animal. Now, European cattle have a comfort zone of uh, minus 1 to plus 15 degrees centigrade. Indian cattle have a comfort zone between 10 plus 10 to 27 degrees centigrade. Cows, okay, uh, cows for slaughter weight is uh, inversely proportional to the environmental temperature. How? Cows uh, for slaughter purpose, uh, okay, uh, inversely proportional to the, the body weight is inversely proportional to the temperature. So that means, for example, 50 kg calf, okay, will feel comfort at 15 degrees centigrade, 50 kg. 200 kg calf feel comfort at 12 degrees centigrade, that's less temperature. 500 kg animal comfort zone is 10 degrees centigrade. So that means as the animal weight increases, uh, temperature for comfort decreases. Any animal, any animal as the weight increases, uh, that comfort zone with reference to temperature decreases. Heavy weight, high temperature, uh, they won't uh, uh, give better uh, yields. That's the thing. Now, short horned cattle, short horned cattle gain more weight at 10 degrees centigrade than 27 degrees centigrade. Short horned cattle gain more weight at 10 degrees centigrade as compared to 27 degrees centigrade. Okay, dash winds are desirable for gaining weight uh, than calm wind for cattle. Moderate winds, okay, moderate winds uh, help in gaining the weight in case of cattle as compared to calm winds. Steady winds, okay, moderate and steady winds. Calm winds, okay, no wind, no weight. That's, that is the meaning. Once again, I read for your academic interest. Dash winds are desirable for gaining weight than calm wind. Moderate winds are uh, needed. Answer is moderate. The optimum temperature and humidity range for cows uh, breeding is 5 to 20 degrees centigrade. Humidity, relative humidity 50 to 80 percent for optimum temperature and the optimum temperature and humidity range for cows while fattening is 18 degrees centigrade to 20 degrees centigrade and 50 to 60 degrees uh, uh, 50 to 60 percent of relative humidity for cows. Uh, the optimum Temperature and humidity range for fattening. This is what, okay? 
the optimum temperature and humidity range for young breeding cattle is 5 to 20 degrees centigrade and relative humidity of 50 to 80 <clears> percent. <throat> the optimum temperature and humidity range for milk cows is 0 to 15 degrees centigrade is the temperature, 15 to 80 percent is the relative humidity. The optimum temperature and humidity range for uh, sickling pigs, sickling pigs is uh, 33 degree centigrade and 50 to 80 percent relative humidity. The optimum temperature and humidity range for pigs for slaughter is uh, okay 15 to 22 degree centigrade and 50 to 80 percent relative humidity. Okay, <clears throat> the optimum temperature and humidity range for sheep is 5 to 15 degree centigrade and relative humidity is 50 to 80 percent. The optimum temperature humidity for chicks is chicks okay is 21 to 34 degree centigrade and 50 to 70 percent RH. The optimum temperature and humidity for chicks chicks okay chicken for for, for uh, uh, both for leg laying purpose and for uh, other purposes, you know, so that is uh, the optimum temperature humidity range for egg laying. Uh, okay, hen is uh, 15 to 22 degree centigrade and 50 to 80 percent RH. Egg laying. The uh, optimum temperature uh, optimum temperature range for milk production is uh, okay 0 to 15 degree centigrade with reference to cattle weight. The fat content in cow's milk decline beyond the fat content in milk, okay, of cows decline beyond 15 degrees centigrade. That means lesser than 15 degrees centigrade only cows, uh, okay, well, cows milk has more fat. Now, critical period for lambs is, okay, critical period for lambs is, uh, 16 to 12 degrees centigrade 16 to otherwise 12 to 16 degrees centigrade is critical temperature there only okay european sheep have a thermal indifference at these ranges and they grow well okay that's what in sheep at lower temperatures dash content is found with milk again i repeat it in sheep at low temperatures dash fat content is found with milk high fat content at uh, low temperature high fat content low temperature high fat content now that's what i uh, we discussed earlier also uh, in sheep at lower temperatures this happens sheep at dash temperature and humidity show increased body temperature okay 32 degree centigrade and 60 to 65% RHA show increased body temperature. They show increase in body temperature. In cool and humid climate, temperatures dash, okay? Uh, and uh, sunshine dash recorded increased death rate at, okay, transportation and increased death rate at transportation for okay, sheep. So the conditions are more than 18 degrees centigrade and high sunshine these two conditions recorded death rate in case of sheep now at birth pigs require a temperature around 33 degrees centigrade pigs attain 20 kg weight the ideal temperature is 22 degrees centigrade okay at the time of birth they require 33 degrees centigrade for to attain the good weight, okay, they require 22 degrees centigrade. Pigs attain 60 kg weight, uh, the ID tem ideal temperature is uh, 15 degrees centigrade as the temperature decreases, weight increases. So, ideal temperature is 22, but around 15 degrees centigrade weight of the pigs increase. Uh, no, fattening pigs, uh, the, the Humidity requirement of fattening pigs is 50 to 70 percent. Pigs under hot and dry weather leads to death, okay, because of the, the pigs uh, die, okay, because of what? Hypothermia, because of hypothermia, pigs, 
okay under hot and dry weather they die it is due to hypothermia in case of pigs in hot climate spraying of dash and uh, uh, wet mud can compensate the evaporate evaporative loss okay in in hot climate shade spraying of water and what wet mud okay once again i will say uh, in hot climate shading animal pigs should be given shading spraying of water and wet mud they compensate for evaporative losses of course in case of uh, uh, chicks some bits we try to understand during the hatching of chicks the ideal temperature is during the hatching of the chicks the ideal temperature is 34 degrees centigrade after the birth of the chick each week approximate decrease of temperature can be by 2 degrees centigrade each week there should be 2 degrees centigrade less 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 like so that's why okay uh, during the months of in india during the months of uh, august and september okay usually the hatching of the chicks uh, usually takes place now a dash weight chick is ideal okay dash weight chick is ideal 300 gram weight chick is ideal okay for Uh, a temperature of 21 degrees centigrade at uh, the temperature 21 degrees centigrade the ideal chick weight should be 300 gram now chick require low rh of dash 55 to 60 percent more the rh rh is beyond 60 percent okay it requires 55 to 60 percent if it is beyond 60 diseases occur to the chick so that is the problem 300 gram weight chicks is kept at dash okay uh, they die because of uh, 300 grams chick okay dry uh, they die because of dash increase in the temperature beyond 30 degrees centigrade 300 grams chick is there 30 degrees centigrade temperature it dies that is the meaning of it young chick at dash degree centigrade will not grow young chicks at a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade will not will not will not grow beyond 30 degrees centigrade they die that's it now optimum temperature for egg production is optimum temperature for egg production is 10 to 16 degrees centigrade 10 to 16 degrees okay uh, uh, centigrade is the temperature at uh, at dash temperature egg production is affected at higher temperatures beyond 16 degree centigrade go to 25 30 okay egg production is reduced that's why in summer most of the uh, chicks won't lay the eggs this is the problem okay the upper limit of temperature is dash and the lower limit is dash for egg laying hens upper limit is 29 30 no question lower limit is 6 degree centigrade lesser than 6 degree centigrade egg laying will not be there for hens optimum relative humidity for laying hens is optimum relative humidity is 50 around 50% bit is given two times that's why i have uh, tried to repeat once again even though i covered in first and uh, first lecture of uh, this uh, 2022 jrfsr net again i am repeating uh, the optimum relative humidity for egg laying is uh, 50 50% excess humidity is uh, dash for poultry birds uh, worst enemy excess humidity is the worst enemy nothing else now so last bit for today's class is uh, some poultry birds lay more eggs poultry birds uh, mean uh, of course egg laying poultry breeds may lay eggs even at around 8 degree degree centigrade but the number of eggs in a cycle is less so if it is lesser than 6 there is no 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 question of egg laying so these are all the things which refers to some cattle and of course some commercial production of animals is concerned three to four bits will come these are all the bits that i have collected for your uh, for your benefit during the jrf srf net exam kindly listen twice thrice because uh, these are the common bits that appeared earlier thanking you very much for your very patient hearing